I gotta tell you, I've been living in Shanghai for six years and I have never been this impressed. In Shanghai. So let's start from the beginning. Like I said, I won't be able to do a daily vlog. I arrived yesterday. We've been living in China for six years now and Chinese culture is pretty much community oriented. You eat in a round table, you share food with your friends, you have meetings with a lot of people. Chinese culture is a lot about sharing and, and gatherings and a lot about community and a lot about getting people together face to face. I'm super impressed right now because everybody is maintaining distance between each other. As soon as the plane landed, we were told to stay in our seats. Three individuals, the health officials, entered the plane and they came in with, in their hazmat suits, level C. They went to the back of the plane, I believe they went to the air conditioning unit to make some tests, probably to test if there was some sort of contamination in the airplane. That relaxed me a lot. It means that they're taking this very seriously. Everybody's taking all precautions necessary. We all know the coronavirus can spread really quickly. The first thing to do when the plane touches down is to make sure that the plane is not contaminated. If we would be contaminated, obviously they wouldn't allow us out the plane. They would need to put us in, in some sort of quarantine Everybody on the plane was wearing face masks, by the way. We had our temperature checked before entering the airport building. We had to deliver our health report just to make sure that we were not in contact with anybody that showed symptoms or we didn't go through the province that uh, is mostly affected. From that point on, everything went pretty much as normal. The only difference is that the airport was pretty empty. To take the taxi, your, your temperature is checked again. If it goes above 37, you will be stopped and you will be required to, to call a doctor. The taxi driver was wearing a face mask as well. The lines were not that big. There were like only a few people in front of me. I didn't have to wait like two or three minutes for a taxi. Everything is pretty normal. The only difference is that the, the streets are not as crowded. From the moment I arrived to my compound, my temperature was checked again by the security guards of the compound and they, they asked me to fill up this paper saying where have I been, when did I arrive to Shanghai. So they can track down basically every person inside the compound. If, if somebody develops symptoms, at least they know where they've been and they can alert authorities saying that there might be uh, infection, a focus of infection somewhere else. So I'm pretty impressed with how, how thoroughly they're taking this. And I had my temperature checked five times already. The fifth time was now. Today, I went out to buy some groceries. Before entering the supermarket, I had my temperature checked by one of the employees there just to make sure that they're not allowing somebody in who, who shows symptoms or who has, who has a high fever. Overall, I'm pretty much impressed. I haven't seen anybody without a face mask so far. I took a walk around the block. Restaurants are closed, coffee houses are closed, but supermarkets and, and 7-Elevens, they're still, they're still open. Everything is still operating. I'm looking to the street right now. There is traffic, but not as much traffic as usual. I received a photo from a friend who was going to Beijing and the, plane, the train was completely empty. People are taking precautions. Nobody is moving unless they need to. A lot of companies adopted the work from home policy, at least for this week. So overall, I'm super impressed how the society is taking this threat seriously. I have the feeling that there's a lot more infected people that didn't even contact authorities and they probably are staying at home trying to stay away from everybody else. After all, it is a country of 1.5 billion people, right? I don't know how many more times I will be able to go outside and enjoy the city. Even if I go outside, there's not that much city to enjoy, to be honest, everything is closed down. But I believe that during this week, things will start opening gradually. Uh, maybe I'm an optimist, but I think the worst is over. The supermarkets are pretty full, so logistics are working. I ordered groceries to be delivered at home, and actually they arrived one hour earlier than they were supposed to. I would say things are working pretty well. On that note, I'm very hopeful. Hopefully the worst is over, and I'll be able to show you my next video how Shanghai picks up from this coronavirus outbreak. I'll see you in my next video.